everyone, this is Lindsay from Winding Road Crochet, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do the half double crochet in the third loop. Here I have two examples of this stitch. This first piece is a flat example where I have worked the stitch back and forth to create this ribbed texture. It looks the same on both sides. The second example I have is the half double crochet worked in the third loop in the round. As you continually work in one direction, the top of the stitches get turned forward and stacked on top of each other, creating a nice knitted look. Crocheting this way also gives the stitch a good amount of stretch. I will be showing you how to work this stitch both ways. Before we start crocheting, let's take a look at a half double crochet stitch. If you look at the top of the stitch, you will see the V shape. The part of the V that is closest to you is called the front loop. The section of the V that is farthest from you is called the back loop. If you turn your work to see the front of your stitch, you will see a horizontal bar in the middle of the stitch. This is the third loop. This is where you will insert your hook to pull up a loop for your half double crochet. So let's go ahead and make this stitch. Here I have already worked up a foundation row of nine normal half double crochet stitches. I will chain two and turn my row. To half double crochet, you will yarn over. Normally, you would insert your hook under the front and back loop, but for this stitch, we will insert our hook from bottom to top under the third loop. Let's go ahead and yarn over. You'll insert the hook from bottom to top in the third loop, yarn over, pull back through the loop. You'll have three loops on your hook. Yarn over once more and pull the first loop through all the other loops on your hook. That completes your stitch. Let's work a few more stitches to make sure we have the hang of it. Go under that third loop, yarn over, pull a loop back through the stitch. You'll have three loops on your hook, yarn over, and pull through all the loops on your hook. The important part of this is to make sure that you get under that third loop Otherwise, you will be doing a regular half double crochet and not get the texture that you're looking for. By working into the third loop, we are causing the top of the stitch to be turned forwards and give us that unique texture and knit like look. Now, I will show you how to work the half double crochet in the third loop in the round. Working in the round causes the top of the stitches to stack on each other and create a unique texture. I have used this technique often when creating patterns. Here you can see I use this stitch to add texture to my Daddy and Me slouch beanie. This stitch is used in a flat circle and creates the spiral in my spiral washcloth. And I used this stitch at the top of my beachside baby romper to add extra detail and to contrast with the regular half double crochet stitches. So let's go ahead and work a few stitches in the round. We work the stitch exactly the same as before, except that your third loop will be on the back of your work. The top of the stitch gets pushed forward, placing the third loop where the back loop usually would be. We will yarn over, insert the hook from the top under the third loop, yarn over and pull up a loop. You now have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull the first loop through all the loops on your hook. We'll yarn over again, go back through that third loop, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook. I'm going to work until the end of the row so I can show you how I like to join my rows. 
The disadvantage of this stitch is that if you slip stitch at the end of the row, your seam is noticeable. I join my seams without a slip stitch and it minimizes the look of the seam. We are coming to the end of the row. I will pull on my loop and remove my hook. Insert my hook into the third loop of the first half double crochet of this row and pull up the loop from my last stitch to join the row. If you look closely, you can still see where I've joined, but it has really minimized the look of the seam. From here, I will chain one and continue with the next row. I like to chain one when working the stitch in the round to keep my stitches closer together. And there you have it. You know how to half double crochet in the third loop and can now add texture and detail to your crochet projects. If you like this video, leave me a comment below telling me which crochet stitch you would like me to do a tutorial on next. Subscribe for updates on new videos and give me a thumbs up if you want more tutorials and pattern videos.